As a father of three children, I understand there's nothing more important than the safety and security of our kids. And this administration will not stop until the policies and procedures at the Department of Children and Families are aligned with best practices and national standards and make it possible for the people working every day at DCF to fulfill the mission of keeping kids safe. The supervisory policy will strengthen the ability of social workers to keep children safe. It does so by defining and directing what is addressed during supervision, including the clinical activities that help social workers put together case-related information about a parent's history or present risk factors, including substance abuse, mental health challenges, domestic violence, so that they can better understand how they impact a child's safety now and in the future. Each, supervisor, each social worker will be required to receive one hour of weekly supervision and one hour a month of group supervision. Every case must be discussed at least once a month within these weekly supervision meetings. That will promote more collaborative responses and better case management. So we are implementing these policies on a statewide basis, which is completely new to the Department of Children and Families. So this is all area offices will roll out these policies together. I believe that the completion of these policies on such short time frames, with frontline workers and administrators working collaboratively, is evidence that all stakeholders are serious about true reform. These policies are rooted in common sense and they prioritize child safety first and foremost. They are based on a real desire to create a better, more responsive child protection system. And as frontline workers see the real imp impact of the work being done by everyone on this team, I believe they will increasingly share the sense of hope that I have for this agency.